Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right. And we left off. We, uh... We, I noticed I had not opened these when we finally hit Act 2 when I said I was going to. So, we're going to do it this episode. Now, uh, we have these, which were things I got with buying the gold edition. I didn't buy any coins whatsoever with them, as I said. These are still here from all the way back then. So, now that we're in Act 2 and now we can more or less use these, we might as well do it. Here we go. Opening the gold chest. And what do we get? A legendary. Two epics. And... What is this? Empty. Okay. I was about to say, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, spoils of War, which is good for me because I tend to use the online vendettas and whatnot to get more shenanigans and this helps me do more shenanigans so there you go for two hours wow that goes a lot longer than I thought it would all right and then there's this here which is battle training ups them by one level if you know you have that unlocked so there you go now Norsko the blue let's look at him a marauder destroyer well he definitely has the armor for it. My oh my. Alright, he's flammable, which is unfortunate, <laughs> considering he's a destroyer, so he works with mainly bombs. Um, he's vulnerable to stealth, which is eh, not as much of a problem. He is fearful of Karagors. That's odd because he's riding one. He's riding a dire Karagor, in fact. So that's a little odd. He also... Well, <laughs> that was my throat. Whoa, weird... <laughs> Uh, he's also a poison warder, so he can decrease damage to him and other allies with poison. That's good, um, considering I am a mainly poison guy. Uh, <laughs> that would help me limit the damage to my own people, so he would be good to have around. He has sappers. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> That'll fuck up everyone around him. But he also has final blast, so if he ends up fucking himself over, everyone's stunned and dying. He's enraged, enraged, <laughs> enraged by the undead, which is a thing we'll eventually get to do, from what I understand. <laughs> and that'll, that is definitely something we're going to have fun with. And immune to arrows. That's good. That's good. He's a pretty good all-around person, I'd say. Although, I don't know where we'd put him in the lineup of uh, assaults. But he'd probably go with me for most assaults, I'd say. I'd say, personally. Alright, who's this guy? Ushak of Meat. That's a fucking skin mask he's wearing there. That is weird. That's the first I've seen of that. That's a Slaughter Tribe thing. It has to be. That's weird. Gross. Okay. He's a soft target, so he's damaged by ranged attacks, and he's vulnerable to execution. That already makes him not super great. And he has fear of brutality. Okay, well, <laughs> he might need to die. Um, he has epic smoke bomb and gang of warriors. Eh, that's, that's not enough for you to be saved, man, unless you have something really good in these later traits. Uh, fireproof and frostproof. Yeah, you, you're gone. You're going to be destroyed. Sorry. You're not worth it. Okay. Now, Tars the Runt. Hmm. He's he is kind of small, isn't he? And just a little bit. An outlaw Beastmaster. He's vulnerable to execution and beast fodder. Why do I always get the Beastmasters that are beast fodder? That it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> anyway. He has a fear of more guy flies. Off-headed, dazed by self. Oh, boy. Uh, he might be gone, too. Unless he has something really good. Gang of Elite Archers. Okay, that's fair. That might be enough to keep you alive. Um, <laughs> Karagor Rider and Beast Slayer. Alright. So he's vulnerable to them, but he can kill them quickly. That's a bit of a thing. So, that's fine. Also, uh, he has Bestial Roar. Um, what is that? That brings Karagors into battle. Okay. Uh, Outlaw Bolas. No, speaking of which, I haven't 
necklace around my neck that I should not be wearing. I just realized because it will be very loud and annoying. Give me a moment. I said, speaking of which, because it reminded me of a bolus because it had a chain and a ball. Anyway, <laughs> now that that's taken care of, devoted master and haunted. Hmm. Yeah, those, those might be enough. Might be enough to keep you around. Tars the runt. All right. I'll just get rid of this guy eventually. Actually, speaking of eventually, let's just do it now. Ushak of meat. It's unfortunate that with that unique mask that I've only just now seen that I have to destroy you because you're kind of worthless to me. But ours. Goodbye. What do we get? Rovanian sword. Hmm. What is this? Kill a captain who is armed with a fire weapon. Executions on a captain make your attacks light enemies on fire for 10 seconds. Um, that seems very conditional and kind of worthless, honestly. The critical chance is nice, but that's really the only thing that's nice about it. So let's just destroy that. Goodbye. All right. Uh, this guy was okay. This guy was okay. Yeah. And got one of those. Good. Perfect. Now, the last one. Let's do it. Okay, this should be a lot of legendary champions. Yep, that it was. Oh my. Got a lot of them. Got a mount train. That's good. Ogbur the Warlord. Cursed Warmonger Commander. Hmm. Already I'm intrigued. He's vulnerable to stealth and that's it. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, this guy I might like. He's a cursed master. He's got cursed weapon. He has a gang of warriors. He's a poison warder. A beast slayer. Oh my god, this guy's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> He's fucking perfect. I love it. <laughs> He's great. All right. Let's just... <laughs> Ogbur, the warlord, you are now my friend. Okay, now. <laughs> Push crimp iron arm. Oh, look at that. He has a metal arm. How about that? <laughs> Makes sense, even though it doesn't really match the rest of his armor. Because he's machine, which his armor's bronzish, basically. But his arm is not. It's a little weird. Anyway, he has beast fodder. Vulnerable to stealth. Stealth doesn't really matter. Weak master. Comes temporarily gazed. Uh, dazed, rather, when his pet or gang are killed. Fear of pinning. Okay. Eh, already not entirely great, but epic bombs and ep uh, mighty hunters is still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I'll admit, you, uh, you may have an advantage enough that I might keep you alive. He's enraged by stealth, so he's vulnerable to it, but he's enraged by it. That's pretty good. All right. Dark Assassin, Takra the Swift. All right, let's look at you, buddy. Um, Gang of Defenders, Poison Warder, Great Strength. Hmm. And Beast Fodder, okay. And a Fear of Burning. Eh, we, might, we might be able to uh, train that out of him. We might be able to save you yet. Enraged by Morgai Flies. All right, there's that too. Yeah, you, 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 might, be, you might be salvageable. That fear of burning and beast fodder is a bit of a pain, but he might be salvageable. Now, I uh, can't even read his name. Hoglik Grog Catcher. Hmm. Well then. Oh, he has some dazed buys, but that's about it. Fear of burning and poison and dazed by stealth. Well, he won't run into stealth very often, but burning and f poison he definitely will. So, just hoping... Ah. Maybe with... Uh, Maybe with the poison warders, he might be actually useful. Uh, can't really get many fire warders, honestly, it seems like. But burning rarely happens unless it's something done by me. So, there's that. Um, epic Caragor Rider and Epic Grog Call. Wow, he is a super beast master. Holy fuck. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. So, we got some good ones. We got some good ones. One not so good one. Push creep might be uh might be unsalvageable but the other two this one hogbur is the greatest takara can be salvageable hog leak is salvageable ah uh, push creep might not be he might be a little uh 
SOL. But, we've got some good ones here. And we've got quite a collection, too. Quite a collection. There we go. Now, now that we've done that, now we can move on to what I've been doing. <laughs> because I have done a couple things. Uh, not mainly against, you know, the world itself. I've been mainly constricting myself to a singular area. And, uh, well, if I'm practicing my skills and otherwise going out on online vendettas and whatnot. Uh, I've picked up a couple weapons in the meantime. Uh, Executor, I picked that up. I'm going to be running that a little bit because it gives me health recovery on execution, which is a nice thing to have. <laughs> uh, we have this, which is an upgraded version of the one we had previously, which gives me uh, more wrath per stealth kill while mounted on a Karagor. And it also lets me quick throw poison, so I'll take it. <laughs> got this, which, uh, I got an upgraded version of the poison one, which is over here. Yeah, right here. Bile bringer. And then this one, uh, I kind of want to see if I can upgrade this eventually. So I'm just going to run around with this a bit. Um, this armor is still the same, relatively the same thing as I got last time. Um, I think I I don't even remember what I was wearing. I think I was wearing something like this. I was wearing the Numenorian, that's right. I was wearing that, but it had poison on it. But then I got this, which got even more chance of poison. And then I got this, which got more chance of poison and lets me have more critical chance while I'm poisoned, which is pretty nice. So, <laughs> that's where I'm at with equipment right now. Uh, I have a couple of these, which I'll eventually upgrade up. Well, this one in particular, I'll upgrade up. So that way I can have a bit of more uh, versatility, depending on what I'm fighting up against. And eventually it'll all be worthless anyway, because I'll have different equipment. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm carrying it around. Uh, we got Gloom Rider here, which allows uh, more health recovery while killing, well, stealth killing on a Karagor. And increased damage dealt by beast allies. I might run a round with this a little bit. Uh, if I do end up having beast allies, it'd be nice to have them be able to do more damage on top of the fact that if I just grab a Karagor and start doing stealth kills, it'd be nice to get my health back while I'm doing it. But health recoveries per stealth kill, relatively okay. It's good all around. I'll just be running this for a little bit. I have not gotten anything new for the new ring. This one, um... I think I have to complete main quests before I can finally get upgrades onto this one. So, that'll take a little bit. But I'll work on that. And skill-wise, I didn't really change much, honestly. I got, if I remember right, I got Mighty Shot and Venom. Um, got, I already have this one, I already had that. Um, yeah, it didn't really change much about... How I did things. I got that to uh, allow me to do Eagle Sight for a longer while I'm in the air, which I figured would be a good idea. Um, yeah, there was not much else. Not much else new that I got. I got a couple of levels just by killing and killing and killing in uh, online vendettas. That's about it. And. Yeah, I, I don't think I added anything more particular when it came to uh, this stuff. So yeah, nothing much managed other than, you know, just getting some new stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, this uh, I'll need to work on upgrading, so I'll do this in the main mission that I'm going to do over here. None is overrun with orcs. Perfect for our purpose. Yeah, for right now, what but... became of Lothario? The people? Queen Marwyn, it was she who first suggested an orc army. Exactly. This time we need to know. Different. We have the new ring. Well, yeah, but that still doesn't answer the question. Um, even though we do have the new ring, which should make it monumentally easier, what happened to her people? What happened to Lothario, Queen Marwyn, all of them? Did they leave and then the orcs just completely overran the place or what? It's hard to tell. Anyway, I think this main mission might allow me to get upgrades and 
new equipment for the ring, so I figure I'll do this one first. The return of the new ring gives you the power of doom. Ah, sorry. Domination over your enemies. It is time to forge an army. Will do. We'll see how that works out. I'm gonna drink my soda in the meantime. Well, I'm hi there. Your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Oh, Bruce. I said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, "Yeah, all right, I'll have a go." Yeah, about that. Exactly the same way. Oh, oh, hey there. You're able to. Wow. Well, Goldfang is gone. I don't even know who he is, I but like him. Yeah, I do. I do like him too. Dominate Captain. Hey, finally, we can get that. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. To recruit a captain, attack him until he breaks, then hold B to dominate him. All right. All right, well. Let's blow that up, huh? Add a little havoc. Whoop, okay. Let's knock him around a little bit. Ow, that hurt. That hurt a little bit. Well, hi there. Ricky, you're going to skewer me. Not really. Wasn't planning on it. Sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down. But I wasn't planning on taking you down. Also, he has an advanced class of tank. Alright, fair. He doesn't really have much here, other than arrowproof and vigilant against stealth. Huh. Maybe when I uh, recruit him, more will pop up. Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, geez. Ow. Damn it. I was trying to pay attention. Oh, geez. Ow. Oh, okay. Ow, come on now. Jesus. I'm just trying to get by, man. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was almost bad. Okay, let's get a chance. Whoop. Okay, never mind. Okay. Trying to get a ranged guy, but apparently the game won't let me. Jeez. Can I, can I just get a moment? There we go. There we go. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay, gotta get away, because that can go bad real quick. Alright. And let's kill you. Just fuck it. Whoop, I didn't mean to go after him. That wasn't what I was planning at all. Oh, jeez. Woo! Okay. Just trying to get... Whoop. Oh, jeez. Trying to get a moment that can... Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get those moments, it looks like. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. This. That works out. That's what I wanted. Oh, boy. I just wanted more followers here. Right now, it's not really letting me... Ow. That hurt. That hurt a lot. That actually hurt a lot. Whoop. Okay. Oh. I could do the dodges by sliding through his legs. I didn't realize that was a thing that they wanted me to do. Whoop. Okay. That's actually working out very well. Ow. Well, ish. Okay, maybe this time. Oops, that's not what I meant. There we go. Just to embarrass him a little bit. Make it a little funny. Oh, jeez, ow. Every time. Every time I misread that. And good damage. Good. There we go. Okay. Okay, dominate Bruce. Oh, geez. Ow. Okay, come on. Let me do the thing. It's not letting me do the thing properly. There. That's what I wanted. Jeez. Recruit. You serve the bright lord now. Alrighty. Rather cinematic. Bright lord, dark lord. Same thing, really. Turns out to me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. Oh, I like in you. Addition to our army. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say so. Don't worry Works for me. Enemies. It will all follow eventually. You wanna plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress mm -hmm. there, why? They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll. Two-headed troll. Mm -hmm. Deadly smart. 
Which, well, I guess you'd have to be given the two heads. Well, here's hoping. Take him down. <laughs> Otherwise, so it's useless. To Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I mean, you got a point. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh. Just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> the sound effect too. Oh my god, that's great. I love this guy. He is great. I love him. <laughs> oh, please tell me I can just get him more fucking like skills and upgrades too. Oh, that was great. Hey, region control. Bruce wants to help you defeat the Overlord and capture the for uh, capture the fortress in Nernan. Alrighty, I guess I gotta hold up. Gotta hold it. There we go. I was trying to press it, hoping that would work, and apparently I was wrong. Okay, so this region is controlled by the fortress of Shockburz. That's a hell of a name, Shockburz, which is ruled by a fearsome Overlord. To begin your conquest of Mordor, you must assault and capture Shockburz. Okay. Increase your army's strength by recruiting additional captains to serve as assault leaders in your assault force. Siege upgrades. Oh. So this is where this part comes in. Okay. Alright, I gotta make sure I understand what I'm doing. <laughs> the Overlord's strongest troops are his war chiefs. They are responsible for his fortress's formidable defenses, known as siege upgrades. You can draw out a war chief by undertaking confrontation missions. Once drawn out, a war chief can be killed outright or dominated and recruited into your army. Killing or dominating a war chief before an assault disables his siege upgrade, weakening the fortress's defenses. Which is a good fucking thing that I would love to do. Mainly the dominating part. <laughs> Alright. Hey! Bruise has joined your assault force as an assault leader. Recruit additional captains to join the assault force and spend Mirian to purchase siege upgrades for them. Oh, so that's how the Mirian comes in. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to need a lot of that, huh? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, well, guess I'll be uh, investing in Marauders a little bit, won't I? <laughs> Yeesh. Okay, press that to continue. Alright, let's check the details. So he still has some of the same stuff as he did before. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? Eventually level him up, I guess. <laughs> it's gotta be. Huh. Sappers. The attacking army is strengthened with a group of explosive sappers who charge the fortress gates. Fair enough. The attacking army is strengthened with a group of Karagor riders. Hmm. That would be good. The attacking army is strengthened with a group of Olog High who can destroy fortress walls. I might go for the Olokai. I'll be honest. Hey, that brings us up to 100. Fuck yeah. I love it. I love it. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Also, I can't get to him now, but I could. I could go for more people to have them join my army. That's an idea. I think I like that idea, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. We'll have to go after that at some point. Turns remaining. Four turns? What? I was pretty sure that's not how it works. Hmm. Weird. Anywho. Yeah, I just need to f pick a good target. I guess. Oh yeah, I also put the, uh... A death threat on Ukbuk the Believer. Even though I wasn't really probably going to go after him. At least not yet. Huh. Good. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go to character. And spend that skill point, huh? Alright, let's see. I could go to Wraith Chain. Shadow Blade. Monster Hunter. Stealth kills can be used against beasts. Eh, I mean, that'd be semi-useful, but Shadow Blade would actually be pretty good when it came to, uh, when it, well, rather, when it comes to doing some Moidas. Especially since Ra Wraith Chain is what we're doing in the first place. Hmm. I 
could do that. I could definitely do that. Let's look at the upgrade for Dominate Captain. Uh, Lifeblood. Hold to heal all nearby followers by consuming your health. Well, that's unfortunate, but... It makes sense. <laughs> Enrage followers. That would also be useful. Although I have to be at level 38 for that. Jesus. That's a highest level for that. Uh, let's go with lifeblood. That'd be nice to have. Hold down to heal all nearby followers. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Weakening enemy power is important. Mm -hmm. But what is most crucial for conquest is strengthening our own forces. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to keep that in mind. Also, what's this? What's this little thing here? The Witch King's Vision. The Nazgul are tracking you through Mordor using the power of the Palantir. Meet with the Tariel to face their threat. Alright. I can do that. But I kind of want to do this first. <laughs> I kind of want to do all the things that are nearby to me. There's this, which is new. I'm not going to get to that yet. The trap. Hmm. Amug the Venomous has set a trap for his enemies. Draw him out by walking into it. Hmm. I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to do this. Just to see. It. Just to see what all the fuss is about. There we go. Get up there after branding him. Make him mine. <laughs> Alright, up we go. And. Alright. Ronk the Slaver versus Takra the Ruinous. Why was I targeting Takra? I don't remember targeting Takra. Oh well. He's executing Takra the Ruinous and his warriors. Which one do I care about more? You're terrified of burning and terrified of more guy flies, but that doesn't mean you die by them. That we'll have to keep that in mind. He is a soft target and vulnerable to execution. Well, I mean Those are already kind of weak things to be weak to, so I mean we could let you die, honestly. Enraged by pinning and an immune to curse. You're immune to execution, which is far better, and power crazed, which is relatively better. Plus, they're level 15. Terrified of burning. Huh. Let's do a couple things first. Let's switch our weapon to finally get that uh, Sword of Domination fucking upgraded. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Eh? Even though it'll be essentially worthless after this. Okay. And then... I didn't need to do that. What did, I, what did I need? I wanted... Terrorize a captain. That would actually be doable after this. Hmm. Alright. Let's do it. Fuck yeah. Let's do it right now. We're going to be trying to capture Ronk the Slaver. Here's hoping it works, huh? <laughs> if you had a spy, you coward, I'd tear myself free and rip it out of you. Oh, would you now? Right now, it looks like you're not in any danger. Maybe off in your boys will satisfy my urge, and I'll lose interest in you. Doubtful, though. <laughs> Is it now? All right, need to keep a mind of his. He's terrified of burning and more guy flies. And is there any more guy flies nearby? No, there is not. But there is Crosh the Unclean. What the fuck? Who's this guy? Why is he here? He's also poison proof and has a poison weapon. Hmm. All right. He's terror. He's terrified already. When did burning happen? <laughs> what? Takra the Ruinous gained the title the Killer. What the fuck happened? 
I didn't even get into the fight. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> Takra gained a level. Ronk fled for whatever reason. Because <laughs> he somehow got burned from something. What in the fuck? Do that. Screw it. Okay, he's terrified already. Might as well. Might as well go after him, because he's broken now, and I can see if I can recruit him. There we go. Let's recruit him. Yeah. Yes, master. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Retreat for now. <laughs> oh boy that's great it's fucking great I love it he's got a new hat well new helm really Takra the killer he's got a new helm he's got some new armor bits on him he's still weak but I mean hmm hmm well, let's just kill him and get it over with, huh? Since... <laughs> Since Ronk failed to do so. Let's do that. Whoop. Okay, well, alright. Hi there! Ew. Won't escape this time, coward. I'm sorry? I never ran away from you once. What the... What? The sentence for interrupting an execution is... An execution! I'm sorry? Do Who are you? Oh, you're new. Oh boy, who did you... Who did you take out? Oh no. And you're an epic to boot. Oh boy. <laughs> he has a Karagor call and a Karagor pack. Not, rather, a Grog call and a Karagor pack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and he's immune to executions. Oh boy. Oh, this is not going to go well for me. What? Well, could... so you're expanding already, beauty. You know what you should do? Is make that bloke your bodyguard. Anyone looking to carve his way across Mordor needs a guard or two. Okay. I mean, I don't. But obviously, if it ever got to the point where I needed a hand on the battlefield, I'd, I'd cut my own throat. Okay. But you, you should have some added muscle. No shame in it. But you just made it sound like there's some shame in it. Also, where did you come from? <laughs> I like your new follower, okay? Command this follower. Wrong. Make your bodyguard. Assigned as bodyguard. Okay. And he's also gotten a little stronger to boot. Huh, he's still got some weaknesses, but... Hmm. Alright. <laughs> wow, this is going way too quickly for me. I'm terrified, are you? Summon bodyguards. Alright, I can do that. Let's do that, huh? If I can hit him a little bit. There we go. Oh, fuck off. Die already. There we go. I wanted you dead. And now you're dead. Yay! Okay. Okay. Fucking hell. Oh, he escaped! God damn it. Okay, now the rest of them are escaping. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Bulg Firecaller escaped. When was Bulg here? <laughs> when and why was Bulg here? Alright, let's break this. This is worthless to me. There we go. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's just miss you for now. Alrighty. Goodbye. What the fuck? I'm so lost on everything. <laughs> Alright. Well. <laughs> okay then. Everything just happened all at once and I wasn't expecting it. Um, <laughs> Let's try and break it down. I killed Takra the Ruinous, or rather Takra the Killer, 
after he had managed to survive Ronk's execution, because at some point, some weird reason, fucking Ronk got hit with fire, and then he got terrified and ran, which is typical for terrified with burning, but I still don't know how he got hit with it and where he got hit with it. And then apparently Crosh the Unclean, which I think is over here. Yeah, Crosh the Unclean. And this guy, who just came out of nowhere, fucking were watching the whole thing and jumped in to try and kill me. And, well, I managed to kill Takra. And these guys ran away. And apparently Bulg Fire fucking Caller came out of nowhere. And I wasn't even aware he was there before he ran off. Jeez. He's a level 40? I'm sorry, what? Oh, I need to know your weaknesses. Alright. Wow, okay, everything. Everything started popping off at once. And now I know how to summon bodyguards. All of this shit. Man. Alright. There we go. And let's find out his stuff, huh? Reveal intel. He's beast fodder and dazed by stealth. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, actually. I might be willing to bring him on. I'd have to break him first. Alright. Alrighty then. Alright, 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 alright. So. All of this taken care of and all the fun stuff done. Let's uh, end this episode here for right now. Now that I've, uh... Managed to find out and learn how to dominate captains and how to go after them and how batshit crazy the game can be about bringing them on. And also apparently Bruise will come in with hit, uh, hints and tips every once in a while and also make you feel like a jackass for needing those hints and tips. Anyway, <laughs> Jeez. I'm just going to end the episode here for right now because uh, I, I have a lot to process. Holy fuck. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally learning how to dominate captains. And now I'm going to have to try and figure out how to not do that off screen. <laughs> while I'm also going after online vendettas. Because they're just too fun, okay, for you.